Hi everyone, it's Erica. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before and it's your first time, welcome. So today I've got a hair video for you guys today. Now that my hair has grown out and is a short version of the midi haircut, I am finding that it's easier to get sets that last. So I wanted to show you guys what I did to get a set in my hair that lasted me five days. So I'm gonna walk you through how I got it and then brush it out for you. Um, okay, so first things first, I shampooed my hair uh, with a clarifying shampoo that uh, was sulfate free. And then I applied conditioner just to the very ends. So the less conditioner you use, the longer your hair is gonna stay in your set. So if you can get away with no conditioner at all, fantastic. Um, if you have to use some, just use it through the ends. I then wrapped my hair in, um, I parted my hair um, and pulled my bangs out. So these are bangs that come to like my forehead and parted my hair where I was gonna part it, which is right here. And then I put a setting lotion throughout my hair and let it air dry for about 40 to 45 minutes. Then I was ready to wrap my hair. So I section out my bangs and I just wrap those with Velcro rollers because I want them to actually come down on my forehead and be bangs. Um, I parted off a section in the top, it's like a mohawk section. And I rolled three rollers going back that are these bendy rollers, like pillow rollers. Um, from ear to ear, I sectioned that off and rolled all that under with a combination of sponge rollers that have little rag ties through them and then regular sponge rollers because I ran out. And then the back is all rolled under and the very bottom, if you can see, there's three little pin curls. And I do that because the very bottom short hair is hard for me to have rollers of the right size. I'm gonna take out my earrings because they're gigantic and it'll make them hard to brush out. So what I do while I take these out to keep my hair for as long as possible in my set is I use the minimum amount of product I need to use to get the look I need and I roll my hair back up every night and sleep on it. Um, so I just roll it back up in pin curls or sometimes these little soft rollers, whichever works best uh, for you is what you would do. And then I just roll it up like dry and then sleep on it, and then the next day, I usually still have some curl. So I just untie this and then unroll it. Um, the other thing that I do that helps with the longevity is uh, for the bang area. About the second or third day, I will actually take tiny Velcro rollers and roll my bangs up again. And what that does is it lets me get like a curly bang look, which I can use to kind of hide the fact that my bangs need to be washed. So that has made a big difference too. For some reason, these knots today decided to get really tight. Um, so I just made these uh, by putting um, some old like t-shirt fabric through where the plastic bit, so I took off this plastic bit and then went through the foam with a little piece of t-shirt fabric. So I've talked about, I think recently in something else. Anyway, so yeah, that's my big trick is I roll my hair back up every night. I use hair that's pretty clean to start with and I, uh, I don't use a lot of product. I also, this first day, I'm not gonna do a lot of straightening the curls. I really am going to manipulate them the least I can on the first day. So that is gonna involve just a quick brush through. These, this method is nice um, with these little sponge rollers like this because you get the soft part of the sponge roller and not the hard plastic part. And look, that's a pretty good curl, so. The setting lotion I use is the Jane Carter Solution Wrap and Roll, which is their kind of like foamy mousse kind. But again, you should use whatever works for you. My hair is fine in texture and I don't have a lot of it. It's quite thin. Um, 
It's naturally wavy and it holds curl very well. So that is all of that out and like I said I rolled these back off the face and it's a little frizzy in the top but that's okay I'm gonna take out my velcro rollers so I get a nice fluffy little bang find any other rollers that have found a way to stay in my hair there we go okay so there you can see we got pretty good curl out of this I'm gonna take my diamond styling brush I'm just gonna run that through the bang really quick there we go Ah, there's something in my eye. Okay, so I'm gonna start brushing through my hair with the Denman. I'm looking to the side because that is where my mirror is. So yeah, that gives me a pretty resilient curl. And then I'm gonna just brush around my hand Like I said, I don't want to brush this too much because I'm hoping for like five days out of this again. Now, full disclosure, the fifth day I had to do like a victory roll kind of thing in the front and um, do uh, some teasing to get the back to be fluffy, but, but still, I didn't have to wash my hair for five days. <laughs> Who doesn't like that? Um, okay, yeah, so this is not perfect, but. There we go. All right, so I've got these little fluffy bangs, which I'm gonna just keep going with. Taking a teasing brush, which I also use for smoothing. I'm just gonna get that kind of where I want it. On this first day, I don't want like perfect hair. I just want it to look cute so that I can keep it longer. But there you go, that looks pretty, pretty darn vintage already. Right, right. So I will use through that top that gets a little frizzy. My hair really shrinks up to that first day because it's so curly that first day. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of my got to be too chic it's like a hair oil serum from Giovanni I'm gonna put like the itty bittiest tiniest bit that's too much in my hand I'm gonna emulsify it around and just get that through the frizzy bit at the top like I said I don't mind frizz the first day because I'm on the long haul for this And then, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm gonna look at the back. My fluffy little bangs, so fluffy. They look so much shorter because they're actually like to my to my eyebrow, but when I curl them with the Velcro rollers, they really shrink up on me, which I think is fine. Gives me that Betty Page bang look without having to cut them. Let's see what's the back look like. Hard to see the back. It's not the best setup, but it's what I've got right now, guys. So that's what I use. Okay, so there we go. 
And that is the back. I keep using you guys for a mirror, and I'm sorry for that. I need to use the mirror over here. So there we go. That's pretty good. I'm going to pop back in my earrings. Uh, putting back in earrings is terrible. I, I don't change my earrings very often, so when I do, it's like, where is the hole in my ear? Here we go. Nothing like giant skull earrings with a banana dress. Um, I'm doing on my Instagram right now this like theme, which is gonna be like five days of um, tropical goth. So <laughs> that's kind of where I'm going with this. I have some flowers that I think I'm gonna put in uh, over here if I can get them to work. Yeah, that's cute. Maybe we'll do the green one too. Do we like the green? I don't know. We don't, we don't know if we like the green. Let's play with this a minute more. So maybe if the green was at the bottom, because it's a bigger flower. I don't know if the green works. Does it work? I don't know. Let's go yellow. I could just do two of the yellow flowers and maybe that is a better, or just one, one yellow flower. Yeah, I think, I think the answer is one little yellow flower. And then I'm just gonna fine tune that a little bit. All right, there we go. So that is that, that is my finished hair. So I will just roll this back up tonight and for the next few nights, I hope, and uh, have cute vintage hair without having to go through, have to redo it all the time. So I hope this was helpful for you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.